12-year-old Rebecca Sedwick was bullied and terrorized relentlessly for months. When she couldn't take it anymore, she climbed the top of a tall tower and jumped and took her life. There's a big problem right now with bullying, with students in elementary, middle school, and high school being victims of bullies, and it's a problem that needs to stop. I've recently put together a blog post to help you deal with bullies and the problem with bullying in our school system. This is not a touchy, feel-good blog post. This isn't a blog post that explores the, the psychological and social uh, reasons behind why people bully other people. It's not a blog post uh, to help victims of bullying to uh, understand and appreciate what's happened and how to cope or deal with that. Those are, those are issues that need to be handled someplace else at another time. What this blog post is all about is it's to share with you a lawyer's perspective on how to deal with bullies, how to deal with their parents, how to deal with a school system that doesn't step up and protect your child, and what you can do using our legal system to help protect your child from being bullied. So what I've done in our blog post is I've shared a couple of different tips. The first section has to do with when you first find out that your child is being bullied. Uh, what you need to do, who you need to contact, and the best way to communicate with other people, such as a teacher, a principal, a school district, police department, district attorney's office, to immediately stop the bullying from taking place any further. The second part of my blog post explains what you can do in and out of our court system if your child's been harmed. If your child is a victim of bullying and the system's not taking care of it, if your child's been injured because of a bully's wrongful conduct, we talk about how to approach the school, the teacher, the principals, the police departments, the district attorney's office, how to utilize a law firm to file a lawsuit to protect your rights, to get an immediate temporary restraining order, preliminary injunction, a permanent injunction money damages against the bully and in some cases the bully's parents who have failed to properly monitor, manage, or control their child, especially when those parents know there's a problem and they turn their head the other direction. The last part of my blog post shares resources that you can use and utilize to protect your child and to hold the bully accountable. Different code sections, different case law, different legal theories that you or your lawyer may want to use to protect your child and to maximize what damages he or she is entitled to because of injury or other harm caused to your child because of a bully. Once again, this blog post is designed to give you ammunition. It's to give you some muscle, some information, some power to fight back, to fight back against the bully and the bully's family, to take on a system that didn't step up to protect your child's rights. I share a couple of legal concepts with you about emotional distress damages, about assault and battery, about stalking, about harassment, about defamation, about invasion of privacy things that apply both to on and offline bullying, and things that you can discuss with your lawyer to evaluate what's in your family's best interest uh, when moving forward to protect your child from being bullied or to hold a bully accountable for, for harming your child. If you'd like to take a look at this blog post, what I'd encourage you to do is check to see if there's a link associated with this video that will take you right over to the blog post. Otherwise, go to jacksonandwilson.com. That's our blog and our website. And uh, in the search box, just type in the words bully or bullying, and either one of those should take you to the post relating to this video. My name is Mitch Jackson. I'm a California trial lawyer. I'm also a husband and a father of two children. I have zero tolerance for bullying. And uh, if you have any follow-up questions, all you need to do is reach out to us at our law firm at jacksonandwilson.com. That's it. Be safe, be kind, and remember to always make today your masterpiece.